Touchboard Game Controller Basic Project Step 1. Paint the interface. Before you begin, grab a spare piece of paper and test out the electric paint tube. Squeeze out some paint and do a quick practice run. This will get you familiarized with the material viscosity. Once you're comfortable using the paint, switch over to your template. You can paint directly onto the graphics. When applying the paint, it's important that none of the sensors cross or touch as this may cause a short circuit. Make sure to keep this in mind if you've made your own design. Fill in each of the sensors with an even coat of paint. When painting your lines, make sure they're not too thin. If you notice any breaks in the paint, make sure to top them up. Any gaps in the paint will mean your sensors may not work. Electric paint takes about 15 minutes to dry at room temperature. Make sure the paint is completely dry before handling to avoid any smudging. Step 2. Load sounds. Once you've selected and loaded your MP3s, you can insert your micro SD card into the touchboard. Step 3. Audio power and testing. To power the board, plug in your micro USB cable. You can use a main socket or a computer USB. Next, plug in your speaker or headphones. Turn on your touchboard using the switch on the lower left hand side of the board. Now touch each electrode to check all the sounds are working. To recalibrate, press the button on the lower right hand corner of the board and wait for the orange light to stop flashing. Step 4. Attach touchboard to paper. Once your graphic is dry, squeeze a small droplet of paint onto each of the circles at the bottom of your template. Make sure the droplets aren't too large, as any paint bridging between the electrodes will cause a short circuit. Carefully center the touchboard over your grid, and place it down so that each electrode makes contact with the droplet below. Squeeze a second set of droplets on top of your electrodes. You don't need to cover them, only to connect to the paint beneath. We call this method of attaching the touchboard to paper cold soldering. Once your solder is completely dry, the graphic sensors will be ready to use. Step 5. Trigger sounds to create stories. 